Hey Chant Knights, Kangaroos, this is our second to last week of doing work together for the year, so let's get right to it. I'm really excited this week because on Zoom I figured out some fun ways to show you how to do things. So let's get right to the learning targets. For uh, reading this week, we're going to talk about knowing the sounds of long you and how to write it. And then I want you to read and write the sight words good and who. And then in math, we're gonna work on comparing length, height, and weight. And we're gonna count by color and shape. So we're gonna keep on going down the page here. And it might just take me a little bit of time as I'm learning these really cool tools for the Zoom annotate feature. Anyway, we're gonna talk about long U today. And so you'll see here, we have a cute teddy bear. Now last week we talked about long O. The O says ah, that's the short O sound, but the long O sound says its name, O. Oh, same for U. The U, when it's short, just says uh. So if I were going to hide my E here, and if we just sounded out the word k, uh, t, cut, that would be like with scissors, right? But we're not, we're going to add an E, that magic E at the end, and it's gonna tap you on the shoulder and say, say your name, you, it's gonna say you. So you'll sound that out as cute, cute. And remember, we don't say the sound for E. It's just helping the U say its name. So let's try writing uh, the next letters. So if we have this box here, it can also be called something else. So in this line, I want you to write with me on your page. You're going to write a little U there and a little E here. And we're gonna sound it out. Ready? K, cube, cube, cube. And there it is. There's a cube. Now, if we erase that e, what would it say? K, cub, cub, like a bear cub. Now we're gonna put it back on there for you. And let's do another one and then you're gonna do the rest on your own. I wanna scroll down to this month here. Let's say the word, j, june, june, june. And it is the month of June. We have a long U sound in our month. So this, oh, and I see I have my drawings there. Okay, so that's what you're gonna do for the long U sound. And if we keep on going, we're going to look down at this page here, and we're going to be reading some words here. They're sight words. They are good and who. So what we're going to do is look as we're reading for these words, good and who. Who can help. This is not good. Who can I get to help? Deb can help me fix it. She is good at this. Okay, now when I select it, I want you to try to say it with me, okay? This is not good. Who can help mop? Sam is good at this. He can help mop. So those are your two sight words for the week. It's, you say it with me, who and good. Nice job. Now we're gonna talk about writing. So here it says, write and illustrate. How does your family work as a team? 
Well, if I were going to do this, I would think about how my family likes to go out to our backyard and we have a lot of toys in uh, this little play area for my kids. So here I'm just drawing all the messy toys. Maybe we have some soccer balls out here and uh, maybe a jump rope gets left. And so my family has to come out and say together, hey, we had a lot of fun playing, but now we have to clean up together. And so here I would draw uh, the members of my family and uh, we would be picking up the balls and the toys and the jump ropes all together. So I want you to try that. Pause the video and go ahead and draw on your on your um, paper what you do to work as a team with your family. Maybe you cook together, maybe you clean up, maybe you read. Those are all some kinds of ideas. So talk about that with your family. And then I'm gonna scroll my page down and then I'm gonna type some letters here for what I do. So I'm gonna say, I clean up the yard with my family. Notice how I have a capital letter I and a period at the end. It's kind of hard to see, but you try doing that on your paper this week. And then we're gonna move on down to math and we have measurement. So when you measure something, you're gonna think about how tall it is so how or and how long it is so when you're measuring you're going to take your pencil this week and you're going to trace the height and the length of the items on this page and you're going to practice just figuring out how to trace the height and the length of something oops i drew that one too far so I have to erase it because we have to only have it just right where the line is. So let me try again how tall it is. And I only trace the line to the top and the bottom and how long it is. Now, when you get older, you'll be using some other tools to help measure like a ruler. And so that, that will be coming. Now, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to get your scissors and you're going to cut out these shapes. There's four shapes at the top. I want you to cut them out and sort them by triangle and circles. Do you have some glue or tape? You can put them in the categories. They belong. And then the next thing is, is comparing weights. So if you happen to have some of these items at your house, I'd like you to run around, scavenger hunt, try to find them. And you're gonna try putting something in your left hand, like this tape, and then the other things in your right hand, and you're gonna compare which one is heavier, whoo, it'll make your hand go down, and which one is lighter, easier to carry. And that is a lot of what we talk about when we are comparing how much something weighs, whether it's lighter or heavier. And so on items one through two, it says circle the object that is lighter than the object in your left hand. So if I was holding some tape, which one might be lighter? Would it be a little um, paint can of red, a lunchbox? or a paper clip. I would choose paper clip. That's definitely going to be lighter than my tape. Now think about a stapler. That's kind of heavy, isn't it? What would be lighter? Would it be a crayon, a book, or a backpack? Which one would be lighter than the stapler? I would say it's the crayon. That's going to be lighter. It's smaller and lighter. So you're going to try the next two items with your family. And we're going to keep going down. And that is about it for your packet. There's going to be some other things to do for cutting out shapes and sorting them. So I hope that you enjoyed this video this week and I hope it helps you do your packet. 
I miss you. I'll see you next week for one more video before summer vacation. Bye, kangaroos.